let's make sure we got this mic going real quick. Oh, see you, everyone. Um, let me do a mic check real quick so I can make sure everything is good on my side. We good? Oh, see you. Oh, see you. Let me know if y'all can hear me loud and clear. Yeah, we got a late night session going on. We got a couple things. Uh, I want to talk about. Hold up. Let me see something real quick. Okay. We good. All right, cool. Oh, CEO Blue Dreamer, how you? Uh, she says set it on fire. Set it on fire, 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 fire. Hold up, I'm getting all my stuff up right now. G Postal, thank you for being a member. Wesley, thank you for becoming a member. Run it, OCO sister, how you? OCO free thinkers. Hold on, let me um. Make sure everything's straight. Uh, something. I'm, hold on. Yeah. What? What? One of my kids knocked on my door. I couldn't. I couldn't hear him. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. I can't hear them. Oh man, run it there. Run it there. I appreciate that, sister. Oh man, she didn't she didn't drop the big don't know. I appreciate that, sister. It's up. Man. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Oh, see, oh, I see Levante in the chat. Chalk Talk Montana in the chat. And a big shout out to the moderators holding it down. Y'all already know what time it is, man. <laughs> he bought the, uh, Ether, thank you for the gifted. I appreciate that. Thank you for the gifted membership. Rod Manuel, thank you for becoming a member. Indigenous Bobby said, let's get it, Dane. Oh, CO sister, been a member for nine months. Listen, y'all. This might ruffle some feathers. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But, I mean, we gotta, it's no way around it. We gotta tell the truth regardless. Regardless of who like it or not. Let me, um, let me get my, I'm still getting myself situated. That's why I was a late stream. I'm doing this off the, like, <laughs> we're going to get it in now. Fishbone. Uh, peace, family, much love. Oh, see you, brother. I appreciate that. God is wild red. She said, teach. Absolutely, sister. Absolutely. Yeah, we we going in tonight. We going in tonight. Uh, Levante said, "Time out for twenty four hours for disrespect the moderators." Yeah, absolutely. Don't disrespect my moderators. What? Yeah. <laughs> you think you get past them? You got another thing coming. <laughs> Come on, let me um. Let's turn up. Let's do it. OCO Freethinkers, you're now tuned into the realest historian on the planet. Planet. His brother, he is raising some serious questions. He's here to make you think. What I'm trying to do is get our people to understand that we have been lied to all the way around about our history. Can you name any other group of people, no matter their skin complexion, that are being labeled primarily as the name of two continents? Not two countries, 
two continents. It's up. It's up. That is called a misnomer, which is the act of applying a wrong name to some person or thing. The best teacher you wish you had in school. Have your pens and paper handy and get ready to take notes. Get ready to take notes. I want y'all to check out notes. somebody named Dane Callaway. Dane Callaway. Dane Callaway? Look, at, look into Dane Callaway. He has a lot of information about how this whole shit was told in reverse, okay? Where they say, oh, we came from Africa over here. No, a lot of us was already here. And information that was put together by a man by the name of Dane Callaway, who is also questioning the slave trade. And he's done some remarkable videos on the history of the slave trade in the United States. Thank you, and God. And he's gone back down the food chain and gone back down the line. And he's realized that a lot of the so-called African-American Americans in the United States are not African at all, they're actually Native Americans because the slave trade did not happen the way we were told that it happened. It's Dane Calloway. Go and watch this man's channel, man. This dude is phenomenal. I'm not saying African American because they're not African American. They're the Aboriginals because they were the, they were the true Native Americans. Set it on fire, fire. They're the copper color race. Look up Dane Calloway and watch his fucking shows. That man, I mean, Dane Calloway on YouTube, oh my God. I mean, he is fucking beyond Look brilliant. The research he does. Thank you, Ronnie D. Ooh. I appreciate that, sister. He goes way deep into this shit. Relax and take notes. It's Dane Calloway on I'm Just Here to Make You Think Radio. 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 All right. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. So... Huh? Where my chat? Oh, my chat not right there. What happened? What happened? What happened? Let me fix that real quick. Boom. All right, there you go. Okay, I think we good to go. Yeah, we should be good to go. Um... So I want to uh, let me let me go to just chatting real quick, because I know this was unexpected, but I, I'm, you know, I want to pop up. I'm probably going to be going uh, back to back. So if you guys are just watching this now, later on, <clears throat> just get ready for another one that's happening right behind this one. It's a lot of stuff I wanted to you know put out. I didn't get a chance to. I was up under a little uh, weather. I'm, I'm going to just say it like that, you know, but I'm good now. Um, everything is fine. You know, we back at it. So it was a slight delay with everything, but yeah, we're going to catch up and keep up. We're going to do it. So I'll see you, everyone. I know I didn't get a chance to do what I normally do. Uh, OCO free thinkers. Let's do it like this. You're now tuned into the realest historian on the planet. <laughs> you are watching a master at work. A master. He's here to make you think. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. All right. The fuck you mean? King Kong ain't got shit on me. The best teacher you wished you had in school. Have your pens and paper handy and get ready to take notes. Take notes. It's Dane Calloway. Set it on fire. Fire. Let's get hyped up. All right, so, all right, there, there's a, there's this topic, you know, that came about. Um, I started posting, uh, the shorts. So shout out to my team, the new team members coming on board. Um, uh, we still got a few new team members coming on board. You know, congratulations to you all. I'm so happy everything worked out that way. And uh, the side of my my editing team that's on the shorts. They started posting out shorts, right? Left and right, man. Hey, matter of fact, do I have a round of applause on here? Let me double check real quick. I don't got... Oh, man, where my... uh? I don't got it. You lucky I ain't got it on here. I got to put my stuff back on here, man. I'm missing like... Woo, I'm missing a whole list. Yeah, I got to put my stuff back on here. But anyway, uh, round of applause, firm handshake, firm handshakes to all of them... Um, that helped out and shout out the M16 as well. Um, so what happened was I posted, <laughs> I posted up, you know, the shorts that they were working on for me. And a lot of them were calling, you know, causing some commotion, but in a good way, it made a lot of people start, you know, thinking and 
thinking for themselves again, asking questions, all of this stuff that I want to happen anyway. I'm here to make people think if they didn't know. I mean, it's quite He's obvious. He's here to make you think. So the whole point is for me to teach the stuff that they're unfamiliar with, especially the stuff that I ran across throughout my researching. Okay, and I have documented evidence to back it up. Now, don't be confused by what the haters may say. The haters may say I don't, I don't show no evidence and all the rest of this crap. We know that's crap, cool. <laughs> because throughout my entire channel, I'm showing you evidence, and it's not gonna be any different from tonight. I'm gonna show you some things because I want to make some things clear. Um, so before I get into what I'm about to talk about, as far as the main topic dealing with King James and you guys are, you know, you just got to get warmed up to what I'm about to explain to you and teach you on that note. Okay. You, <laughs> I'm fair warning you right now. And if I'm fair warning you right now, then you know, it's about to be a major bomb getting ready to drop. Um, so before we get into that, I want to, you know, the first segment, I want to talk about this particular short that uh, just got posted today. So hold on, let me let me bring this over real quick. And I want to show you all uh, really quick, just, just in case you guys didn't get a chance to see it. I want to show you all the clip itself. Hold on, let me, see, let me pull it up real quick and. Just in case, you know, so we could go over. Then I'm going to go over some things that happen. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me switch screens. Let me go here. Music off. All right, here we the go. The Africans came way later. 1900s later. I put that on screen. We were not brought over here by way of slave ships. I put that on screen. I showed you that it was no such thing as a slave ship. I put that on screen. Number one, they couldn't come straight across the Atlantic with the ocean gyres there. They would be lost to sea. Number two, you are not about to fit 100, 200 nobody on a sailboat. They can't carry that much weight on a sailboat. Don't forget that they're calling them ships, but they were boats, wherries, rowboats. Those are small. The cargo ships came in the 1850s, and the first three cargo ships were owned by three different people, and those cargo ships were not being utilized commercially. The commercial use of the cargo ships came in the late 1850s. By that time, you had, what, 10, 15 years more until slavery was allegedly abolished? Now... You know, uh, when this was posted, it was, was posted on my Twitter. It was posted on my Instagram. Um, it was posted on my YouTube and it was posted on my TikTok. And y'all would not believe the responses and it exposes. It really does. And it's unfortunate that I'm getting ready to say this, but it exposes how deeply indoctrinated our people are. It's, it's honestly embarrassing to say that. But I'm going to show you, you know, what I mean by that. Let me let me give you some examples of what I mean by that. Um, And it's unfortunate. You know, it is unfortunate the way it is. But, ooh, man, I'm talking about the simplest things. It's hurting our people, man. But let me so. Let me show you all something. Um. I got to make this big screen. Hold on, on my side so I can see. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay. All right, no, press pause. I'm not about to play that again. All right, so really quick. I want to, I'm just going to read off a few comments uh, really quick because I want y'all to see how bad this got. Um, hold up. All right, for example, okay, let's start off with this person right here, right? Uh, this person right here says, I'm always open to other views, but what about the other places? Slavs were dropped off at. The same song is being sung. I guess he was trying to say sung right there. That slave boats brought them here and to every other slave port. It's documented videos of old slaves remembering. So Noah can build an ark, but a slave ship can't be. And that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But 
I, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to teach the people. So what I said was, oh, can you all see this? Let me go big screen just in case. So what I said was, again, there were no such thing as a slave ship whatsoever. Cargo ships are what they are referring to. And again, the commercial use of cargo ships happened after the late 1850s. And that's documented by primary sources. There are no videos of, quote, old slaves remembering. Because if that were true, <laughs> then those videos will be in the museum right now. <laughs> but realistically, videos were not around during the so-called slave trade era anyway. So how can those videos be truthful? Okay. Also, Noah is yet another story that has yet to be proven accurate based on factual documentation evidence. And, <clears throat> you know, and then he said, okay, like I said, I'm definitely open to other thoughts. Like, I I'm not giving you a thought. <laughs> like, but this is our people. So how did slavery start or spread for us blacks? Now, you know, he got a problem right here. You asking me, how did slavery start? Or how did it spread for us blacks? I gave him the best, simplest answer ever. We were already here. Foreigners came by boat here and met us. I'm going to be getting into this in a, in a second, too. We, we're going to get into this again. So now let's go to the, another one. Okay. Uh, somebody said, how did Europeans and Asians get here prior to 1800s if they were in sailboats? Listen, <laughs> listen, how did Europeans and Asians get here prior to 1800s or prior rather prior 1800s if they were in sailboats? Like y'all act like sailboats, sailboats can't. <laughs> I answered, they got here in small numbers on sailboats before the 1800s. Ships did not exist then. And we're going to get into that in a second. The foreigners uh, were not here in America in large numbers until the commercial use of cargo ships came during the latter part of the 1850s. That's documented. Now let's go to another one. There's, hold up, no. There was another one, somebody right here, some paying goofy, probably he not. Is he following me? No, nah, he not even following me. Private account, bro. If you don't take a DNA test and settle it, you already know how I responded, right? I don't need a stranger to take my blood and expect me to believe they tested all of my dead relatives throughout my entire bloodline without proving it to me by digging up each of their graves, then sending me back a sheet of paper as if I just graduated from high school all over again. A piece of paper doesn't make a person smart and a piece of paper doesn't make you somebody a stranger wants you to be either. They don't have the technology to tell someone their historical genetic makeup by blood or saliva. That's impossible. And they tell you it's for entertainment purposes only for that reason. The person responded, yeah, okay, tell Maury that. Just take one, bro. You have nothing to lose. I'm tired of folks erasing parts of our story, of our whole story. Listen to what I say. There's a huge difference between a paternity DNA test and a genealogy DNA test. The paternity test uses data from living people with other living people. And so does a genealogy test. But that's the problem. Because you cannot tell someone their historic genetic makeup overall by comparing their data with other living people. You have to test their dead relatives in order for it to be accurate, which that task will be impossible to do because you have to dig up everyone's graves to accomplish that. So taking a genealogy DNA test solves nothing. 
especially when you have no documentation or genealogy paperwork from a genealogy paper trail of your direct family's history to go with it. Again, our people are confused. Now, this person right here, now listen to this closely, right? And this actually got the most responses. Now, this person said, how many of y'all have fact checked what he's saying? Off top, I could tell you a lot of this information is wrong. The first slave ship came across the Atlantic. I'm the 1600. Ships were being built before then. They had whole battles at sea with ships. It is extremely well documented. Please fact check what this dude is saying. He's getting bonkers at this point. See, people, this is this is the prime example of why people like this won't ever show up on my platform. Ever. They won't ever show up on my platform when I open up the platform, get people to talk to me because they know better than this. I would not tell you in public format that the first slave ship came across the Atlantic in the 1600s without proof. But you said this. The first slave ship came across the Atlantic. I'm the 1600s with no proof. First of all, slave ship never existed. That's what I debunked. You have to prove that a slave ship existed. That's number one. <laughs> no documentation is going to state slave ship. Again, and the ones that they're referring to are cargo ships, which came way later. Not no 1600s. Because keep in mind, I think the people are confusing what a ship and a boat is. That's what happened because of that. That terminology that can be twisted and turned. And it's making you fall for a story that hasn't been proven. What I mean by that is, is that these so-called ships did not have a motor in the 1600s. That means that they were boats that had sails that guided them through the streams. <laughs> huh? Set it on fire. fire. I'm going to show you my response. Everybody was clowning him, too. Everybody was asking him where he got that from, where the receipts, blah, 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 blah. But let me let me just show you and shout out to Lyrical Chris, because he says sounds like you don't know the difference between a ship and a boat. Ships have engines. Shout out to Lyrical Chris. He, I, I. Now, I responded and said, stop lying. Ships did not exist until cargo ships were created. Prior to that, there were different boats, a.k.a. vessels like the steamboat, for example, that came before the cargo ships were made. Any boat with sails to guide them through the streams as a sailboat, not a ship. There were no ships prior to the 1850s. And I proved this without using a spy camera of Google and Wikipedia. It's just that simple. It's, it's horrible that my people are confusing the two. I'm talking about we could, there's a video game. Y'all could look this up. Matter of fact, I'm going to look this up for you real quick. There's a video game. Hold on. That just came out. Believe it or not, it's called Skull and Bones. Okay. Hold up, though. Hold up. One second. Let me see if I could. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Skull and Bones, the video game, has all to do with this time period that I'm referring to when it comes to these boats. Or vessels, rather. Near one of these vessels in this game. This just came out. I'm not even really trying to promote it. 
but goddamn, like you could go check, <laughs> like some type of way, check on this stuff, man. These are not these are not ships. These are boats. These boats did not have engines. You see those sails? It's just like you you draping up, you bringing up your drapes or your uh. Your, what do they call on your windows? Your, your drapes and there's another word for it, right? It's the same way. Like you bringing those up and down. They had to do the same thing with these sails. I'm talking about to slow it down and to speed it up because the wind is guiding them through the streams. Yeah, blinds. That's right, blinds. There's no motor on these boats. None. <laughs> None. And that's unfortunate that my people are not looking into that. Like you, you talk about, for example, you talk about having so-called slaves on this boat. And they go say they was at the, um, at the bottom. There's no way you're not going to have enough people on the top of the boat to take care of the people at the bottom. Number one, how are you going to be able to control all of those people that you claim that you bring in? On a uh, matter of fact, they, they did this on this picture. I, I chewed this up. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. Look, I'm going to hold on because I'm sure that's still there. I'm sure that image is still there. Look at this. Yeah, here you go. Look at this crap. Click this. Look at this crap. They expect you to believe that this was possible. Like all of these people are at the bottom and there's no room. You gonna tell me that this is a storeroom and this is a storeroom right there. There's no room for you to survive. You don't, where's your car? Where's your space for your cargo? Where's your space for your food, your water, the things that you are going to need to travel through the tumultuous seas between a 50 to 60 day trip just getting there and then a 50 to 60 day trip getting back because you don't have a motor you're going off of the wind see this is where this is where you you are making yourself a victim of something unforeseen number one and number two it's impossible that they could have did something like that. Impossible. Capturing hundreds of people from a totally different landmass and then transporting them by way of sailboat from that landmass to another totally different landmass they, that they are unfamiliar with. There's no GPS, no internet, none of that. They don't know where to go. That's right. That's right. They're being led astray. And it's unfortunate. It's, it really is. It's, my people have been indoctrinated the most with this crap. But notice how nobody came back and said that the Africans, not, that they didn't want to come back and say anything about me saying that the Africans came way later in the 1900s. Nobody is going to come back with evidence proving otherwise. That's very important. Because look at the Africans I'm showing you that came. <laughs> they don't look like they got colored skin to me. And I proved this on multiple occasions throughout my docs. And I dare anybody to say otherwise. I dare you. When I showed you evidence after evidence, document after document, picture after picture. For example, when you try to look up a so-called African slave coming off of a vessel that was getting here in America, they're not going to show you a picture like this. They're going to show you a depiction 
like this. Something that somebody drew. Just because they drew that doesn't mean that it was real. There's no way that bodies are going to last that long. 50 to 60 days next to each other naked. No food, no water. The dead, the stench of the dead bodies alone would make everybody on that boat sick and die. And again, this is a cargo ship. This is not a slave ship. This is they, they still make cargo ships very similar to this to this day. And guess what? They're not getting to so-called Africa in two, three weeks. It takes them still 50 to 60 days to get to Africa just to get there. And look, still to this day is limited of how many people they can bring on board. Have you ever taken a, I'm not not even talking about the cruise. I'm talking about taking a cargo ship where it could be cheaper for you to travel to places like Europe or Africa. You can look this up right now. Instead of taking a plane, you could take a cargo ship right now. It's still the same thing. And here's another thing, right? How you, that people didn't take into account. Notice how they didn't tell you the routes that they took. They got you automatically thinking that the people were able to come straight across the Atlantic. The when I told you that you cannot come straight across the Atlantic. Why? Because of the ocean gyres there. The ocean gyres. That North Atlantic gyre is not allowing you to come straight across from Africa to North America. This is the reason why they're not going to tell you the route that they took. There's no such thing as coming straight across. They will be lost at sea. That's what I just said. Right here. I'm straight across the Atlantic with the ocean gyres there. They will be lost to sea. And that's what I mean. Now, I have a full-fledged video explaining this on the channel right now. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was called Harriet Tubman and the slave ships. Something like that. I know it was Harriet Tubman and slave ships was in the name. Because I debunked slave ships. There was no such thing as that. At all. Not written in no book. I'm talking about primary source book. You won't be able to find that anywhere. That's a story that they gave to you to make you feel like you were the victim again of something unforeseen. And then when I turn you and I turn around and tell you, wait a minute, you didn't notice that they didn't tell you the history of the so-called whites or the so-called Caucasians or the so-called Europeans. Now, one of those people that get upset with me because I'm teaching history can come back and teach you the history of so-called white, so-called Caucasian, so-called Europeans. I can. I can and I have <laughs> again on multiple occasions on my channel. Those Europeans are less than you. But they made you believe that they were above you. This is the reason why you cry in white supremacy. Because you have no idea what the objective was behind the term white. And which that was the status that was created by the government. I showed you that as well. The creation of black and white. That's a video on my channel right now. And gave you the documentation on when it started verbatim. You can't tell me I don't put this stuff up. This is the reason why I tell Umar Johnson, Jermaine Shoemaker and them to hop out there. Do it. I dare you. You don't want to debate this, do you? Because they're not teachers. They don't do research. They regurgitate information that they learned from other people. That's regurgitating other misinformation that they learn from other people. Dane Calloway do Dane Calloway research on Dane Calloway's time. 
Dane Calloway don't be popping up in Google and Wikipedia and be like, ooh, that's it, and stop there? That's not research. That's not researching. I know better than that, and so should you. But it's unfortunate because if you, I'm talking about this, okay, this video, like I said, was posted on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and my YouTube channel. And again, the people don't understand that there's a difference between a ship and a boat, number one. So like, for example, let me see if I can find that one. Uh, somebody said, hold on, let me see if I can quickly find that. The person was like, hold on. Wait. Let me see if I can find it really quickly. Nah, I, I'm probably not going to be able to. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Like, and here's another thing. Somebody was like, I mean, th this is getting all topic, but somebody was like, so what do you got to say about the OMAC? Africans been here before the so-called Native American. You've been misinformed. Who told you the OMAC was African? The OMAC are indigenous people to the Americas. That ain't got nothing to do with Africa. Who told you this? And you got the nerve to have chief in your name. Caesar my eye. Raw, you still a pan African. You don't know what you're talking about. Pan goofy. I, I'm what makes like for real? Seriously. The statues that they discovered of the so-called giants were here. <coughs> here in the Americas. What the hell are you talking about? I get called an old Mac all the time. For that reason. Damn. All right. So somebody must have deleted their comment because I wanted to. Yeah, they must have deleted it. Man. Yeah. Because I, I swear I seen that. Let me double check one more time. Oh, man. All right. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but the whole point is that it's, it's sad. It's really sad. This dude come over here tell me something. The first slave ship came across the Atlantic in the 1600s. Like, come on, bro. Like, you debunking yourself. And, and, and this is what I'm saying. They don't never show face. They don't ever want to pop up. Hey, that's me right there. None of that. Because I will invite you up right now to prove to me that a slave ship came across the Atlantic in the 1600s. Keep in mind, that ship better not be no ship with a motor in it. <laughs> the steamboats were called the steamboats, not the steamships. And they came before the cargo ships. Now, again, in certain places, you're going to see, and that's what made it confusing. You're going to see that they're going to refer to these boats as ships. But these vessels were boats. <laughs> they didn't have no motor. It doesn't matter how large it was. You still won't be able to fit over 150 people and still have room <laughs> for your cargo to survive that trip across the Atlantic. And look, and don't look and don't forget, you still got the ocean gyres there. So it ain't no straight across nothing. These are tornado style in the water spinning in that direction. That's why you see those arrows spinning in that direction. So if you hug the coast of Africa and it you still can't even get to South America unless you hug all the way down and whew, this, the coast is clear. Maybe I could come across over here. And then what? there's another South Atlantic gyre that's going in this direction. And you think you could be able to make it to South America like that? Again, tell me the routes 
that they took without having to hit these gyres. Otherwise, if you get caught in one, you'll be lost at sea. That cannot be debunked, ladies and gentlemen. That's real. <laughs> That's still happening right now. All right, so um, let's let me move on to the next thing I want to talk about here. Because uh, it's, it's the same stuff that's happening on Instagram, that's happening on Twitter and Instagram and uh, sometimes YouTube. <clears throat> the people just don't have, they don't have any idea. They much rather regurgitate a lie that was taught to them probably in their earlier stages of life when they were children. Because that's what they are the most comfortable with. That's confirmation bias. I explained that to you all before. You're just regurgitating, again, information that you're comfortable with knowing. Or believing, rather. Because you have no idea if it's the truth or not. Just because a teacher taught you that doesn't mean that it was true. Again, just because a teacher taught you that in school, let me put that in there, doesn't make it true. The teacher is told to teach a particular curriculum. The teacher is not told to create the curriculum. Again, the teacher is told to teach a particular curriculum. The teacher is not hired to create a curriculum. Let that sink in. So let's move on to the next thing. I'm going to still warm up the conversation before we get into King James. I, I, I'm telling y'all, just get prepared. I'm telling y'all right now. So um, to warm things up, <laughs> I'm going to go like this. Hold up. I got to take this one down. All right. All right, so <clears throat> yeah, because I know I'm gonna bring that up. Yeah, so let me let me put that here. All right, so let me put this here real quick. So what I wanted to talk about to warm the conversation up to will you in gently as far as what I'm teaching here. I want to educate you all on something essential. This essential information concerning. Some things that's very unfortunate that's going on uh, that I see is going on within our American Indian Aboriginal communities right here in America. It's unfortunate. On YouTube and TikTok. From content creators, though. Okay, now, most of you should understand where I'm coming from when I present this information to you all and uh, the reasons why I do it and the reasons why I do it the way I do it. But I know that there are people out there with their agendas and they like to do things their way, which is fine. However, I want to be perfectly clear on where I stand on things. I will show you, okay, throughout this live stream. And I hope this live stream, hopefully, will stop all the confusion that some content creators out there are presenting. Number one, I'm going to bring this up. Number one, some of the content creators are separating the term Indian from the term Aboriginal. As if they do not represent the exact definitional meaning somehow. And that's causing confusion in the community that has to be stopped. Here's why, because if you decide to look up the term Aboriginal in the American Dictionary of the English Language in 1828, which is one of the oldest standard English language dictionaries in the world that can be labeled as a primary source, you will find that the term Aboriginal is defined as first original primitive 
Aboriginal people, I mean, excuse me, Aboriginal people are the first inhabitants of a country. Aboriginal tribes of America. Okay. Notice that it says America. And then it goes on to say the term Aboriginal uh, means an original or primitive inhabitant. The first settlers in a country are called Aboriginals, as the Celts in Europe and Indians in America. So even though Aboriginal people exist within their own respective countries, that does not mean that the term Aboriginal cannot be applied to the Indians in America. And that's according to the word's definition. Okay, from a primary source in the English language. Because Aboriginal was used when defining an original inhabitant of a country. Notice that it says Indians in America within that definition, right? As an example of what the word Aboriginal can pertain to. You got to make that clear. So let's check the meaning of the word Indian. Indian. Can I zoom this in? Hold on, don't print. Let me zoom this in real quick. Um, hold on, let me go main screen. Yeah, okay. Now, <clears throat> Indian. This is what they're saying. It says the word Indian is a general name of any native of the Indies as an East Indian or West Indian. It is particularly applied to any native of the American continent. Now, nowhere else. This says American. Now, you could be saying, but Dane, it doesn't use the word Aboriginal in this definition. And I agree with you. So how can we tell that they are the same? By noticing that it says the word Indian right here. Hold up. Okay, now my wife was telling me right there, good. It says right here, it is particularly applied to any native of the American continent. Particularly meaning to a higher degree. That's what that means. Which indicates that uh, American is not the original word used to describe people who are indigenous to this landmass now known as America. With that being said, <coughs> let's look at the word American. It's this simple. It's really this simple. It says that an American is a native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. So there's the word Aboriginal and its correlation to the term Indian because Indians of America and Aboriginals of America are the same people. Now I'm making myself perfectly clear. So that just shows you that I'm not choosing sides. I'm here to tell the truth. Okay. So suppose you find someone attempting to separate these two terms, right? In that case, this means that they're going down the same route as some of our people in the past. Like, for example, between the 1960s and the 1970s, where you could find our people slowly accepting the misnomers black and Afro American as a means to describe our people. And yes, don't get me wrong. 
Both of these terms are, in fact, misnomers because our people's skin complexions are not the color black, nor did our people wear the Afro hairstyle in a general sense beyond a particular time period to the point that we should be referred to as that hairstyle and American. Mm -mm. Let's go a little deeper. Let, let's let's go a little deep. I'm going to bring something up. I disagree. Hold up. Let me let that sound effect go. I disagree with people separating our people from within as if we are not separated enough already in today's society of America. That's working backwards. That's working backwards. And it's officially not working in our favor of progression and excellence and prosperity. See, fixing our community issues is hindered by this type of separation. Most of which is derived from various religious beliefs. I'm going to go a little deeper. Some of the content creators will agree with you. And say, yes, we are indigenous people of this landmass. But then they, they'll they twist things around in a religious sense. I, we got to go there. This got to get called out. Some would say that we are the real Jews. Some would say that we are the real Hebrews. We are the real Moors. We are the real descendants of enslaved Africans or... Uh, we are the real lost tribes of Israel or the Bible tells us our real history. We are cursed due to uh, pages read to us by strangers from a book that our people did not create, nor did our people attempt to verify who created it. Wow. I just look, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. I don't know if y'all can hear me. And I was just about to move to something. I, I don't know if y'all can y'all hear me. Let me look. As soon as I said that word, they tried to take me offline. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. They tried to take me offline right there, bro. Man, they tried to take me offline right there. All right, we we good, right? We we loud and clear. <laughs> My wife texted me. As soon as I said that word, they ain't like that. Yes, boo, we are still here. Woo! Hey, hold up. I see y'all on Cash App. Vanessa, I appreciate that, sister. Keep speaking that truth. I appreciate that, sister. You were right. I appreciate that. And um, oh, my wife just said it was buffering. Okay, it's, it should be back. Um, the Wanda said, uh, for one membership, air sending on YouTube. I mean, sending on YouTube help. Oh, see, YouTube playing with that. Uh, the Wanda, YouTube playing with that. I don't, I don't have no control over that. I don't have no control over that. That's that's YouTube doing that. Hands down. If they trying to stop you from becoming a member, that's them. That's them. That's not me. I don't have no button right here. Like, no, I'm, pff, stop. I don't want you to become a member. I don't got that button. I don't got that button to make you unsubscribe from my channel. I don't got that button to stop you from liking my videos. The only thing I got a button on is removing you off of my channel if I find as though if I feel as though you're being disrespectful to me or anybody within my channel. That's it. That would be the only time I would purposely remove somebody off of my channel. But as soon as I said that screw word, I mean Jew, I mean <laughs> set it on fire. Woo! Man, I mean, cause think about it, young. They they were saying that we were cursed due to some pages that some strangers read from a book 
that our people did not create and our people did not verify who created it. Like for, for real, like real talk, what makes you believe a foreign entity can tell you all about your story in a book they wrote without knowing your family's history firsthand? Huh? It's up. Hey, look, did they have the opportunity to uh, sit down and speak with your four time great grandparents, for example? Did they have the opportunity to sit down with your four time great grandparents? Look, on both sides. <laughs> Set it on fire, fire, fire. Stop playing. Listen. That when they all this stuff, look, y'all, Africans, Moors, Hebrews, Jews, Israel, and the Bible, all of this is not indigenous to this land, man. They are foreign. You don't like to hear that, do you? Because it's not about what you may believe. It's about what you know based upon what you can actually prove. In fact, they are all referring to nearly the same area far away. From here. If you didn't know, I'm going to teach you. Because before I researched this topic, I began I began to question everything. Look, and when you question everything, especially things like this, you get called all sorts of derogatory terms. Oh, this nigga, this he on me. as if you broke a law. And when you tell them that you acknowledge that there is a creator or a greater spirit, then they get quiet. And then they be trying to attempt to understand where they went wrong <coughs> and their misinterpretation of the books that were handed to them by the offsprings of the enemies of our ancestors that brought those books with them. When they realized that the swords and the guns weren't enough to quell the Indians from raiding their unwelcoming upon our shores. Ooh, top! Dude. Hold on, hold on. Watch. The people who were sent over here in an attempt to assist the foreign squatters, not settlers. Uh uh. Squatters, because you're squatting when sleeping in tents or teepees, right? Hmm. The people who were sent over here in attempt to assist the foreigners with starting a tiny colony, not no large colony, tiny colony on our lands. They were known as missionaries. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. We're going, well, nah. Nah, they need, they need this whole thing, baby. This whole thing. Look at this. Read it with me. A missionary is a person sent on a religious mission especially one sent to promote Christianity in a foreign country. And this is exactly what happened. This is exactly what happened. This is it right here. This is what happened. Unfortunately. And guess what? The Bible does not tell you about it due to what the Bible was utilitarianly designed for. Hmm. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. I would like for you to know something real quick, though, that missionaries were sent by someone to America, which America 
was a foreign country to them in order to promote Christianity. This is a historical fact, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a joke. This is what happened to our ancestors' past. When I teach you these things, this is not to belittle you or push you away or try to get you upset. This is to tell you what happened because your pastor ain't telling you. And think about that for a second. A missionary is a person sent on a religious mission, especially one sent to promote Christianity in a foreign country. Do you know what else that means? This means that Christianity was not indigenous to this landmass. Because if it were, they wouldn't need to send missionaries here to promote their religion to our ancestors. It's up. I want to go even deeper. I want to go even deeper. Let me let me pull something up real quick. YouTube, don't cut the stream off YouTube. I don't care how late it is. Matter of fact, what y'all doing? Oh no. California is like nine o'clock for them, right? They are paying attention. Let me see what he doing. We got to zap this live stream. He teaching too much. He telling too much too. You scared? If you scared, say you scared, you too. If you scared, say you scared, you too. I can't hear you. Go get this book. Go get this book. My wife and I's book. Titled, it was told in reverse. The untold truth about the transatlantic slave trade. We informed the readers of a particular missionary group. Inside this book. Known as, it's a matter of fact, it was multiple ones, but I purposely pointed out, I believe, two of them in this book. But the missionary group um, that I'm familiar with inside of the book that I told you about was called the Congregation for Propagating the Gospel in Foreign Parts. Let me let that sink in again. Right up under, look, right up under this, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, hold on, let me let me let me make it bigger. Let me look look at the name. Let me bold it. The congregation for propagating the gospel in foreign parts. Yes, the title of their missionary group is informing you of their soul duty. They were a congregation for propagating the gospel in foreign parts of the new world. To them. This is not the only society. They also had society for promoting Christian knowledge. Y'all might have heard of that. SPCK. That's called Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge. Here go, uh, can I, yeah. Now, this pick say 1704. That's incorrect. It was 1701. The gift of the society for propagating the gospel in foreign parts. It was 1701. But again, this is just one of them. Look at, look at the image, though. Foreigners coming. 
by sailboats. Look at how they portrayed the Indians already on their land. You think we were welcoming them to with open arms? Look what he got in his hand. He got the Bible in his hand, don't he? The Christian, I mean, the, uh, yeah, the cross right here. <clears throat> That's one of their logos, by the way. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of people were involved in that. King William. Uh, Society for Propagating the Gospel in Foreign Parts. You had Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge. Uh, Thomas Bray was in there. Um, uh, the United Society for Propagating the Gospel. That was another one. All of this stuff came from the Church of England, but... Wait a minute. Church of England. So, Dane, are you telling us that it came from a church? Yeah, but... But dang, who was in charge of the church? Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You ready? We about to get deeper. Nah, 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 nah. They not ready for that. Y'all not ready for that. Are y'all ready for that? Right, but give, give him this one. Give him this one. Give him this one. You got to buy the rights to have the King James. You got to have to get out of buy the rights. Natural Portrait Gallery of London own this picture, huh? Huh? Right? <laughs> All right. Y'all might have heard of this right here. I'm about to show you. This ain't even, well, we ain't even, watch. I, I ain't even gonna say nothing. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch. Watch this now. All right, I got it. So, okay. So, I'm about to show y'all something. Because y'all know, that, again, they had societies for propagating the gospel in foreign parts. Okay. The reason why I keep showing you King James the first is because he founded all of them technically because all of them fell up under the London company, AKA the Virginia company, AKA the Virginia company of London. The Virginia Company of London was a joint stock company chartered by King James I in 1606 to establish a colony in North America. Stop. Did they send an army to come over here? Did they send an army to come over here? No, they did not. They sent missionaries. They knew they couldn't win the war. Again, they couldn't get you with the all, all this this crap right here. Like they knights, they ain't bring no people like this over here. It wasn't no they were in armored suits and had swords. And there was a, it wasn't none of this, y'all. It was no guns, no swords. They came with the Bible. And um I'm going to ask y'all a question, chat, real quick, before we go any further. I'm going to ask y'all a question. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds to answer this. Name one, na name the most 
Wait, hold on. Let me let me see how I can word this. Uh Okay, here we go. Tell me what King James is most famous for. What is King James famous for the most? I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, DNA, let that shit bang. Okay. Now I done seen a couple answers. I, I, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna drop a big bar for all of y'all. All of y'all are right. Okay, but hold up. I'm talking about something specific here. <laughs> yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about right there. King James. Allegedly finished the King James version which was also known as the authorized version of the Bible in 1611 I'm getting somewhere with this 1611 King James version it was allegedly the authorized version handed to the Protestants. The missionaries that came over here to America, Catholics, Protestants, Quakers, wait a minute. They were all together? Yes, they were. No, 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 not 1911, 1611, 1611. Don't forget this. But what do we just say? The Virginia Company of London was a joint stock company chartered by King James I in 1606 to establish a colony of North America. The King James Version was done in 1611. I want y'all to see what I'm getting at here. That's right. The Persians, Protestants, yes. Separatist pilgrims. Absolutely. I'm taking it slow for a reason because I want this to sink in when I'm about to show you next. Let me tell you first. King James... Couldn't have been his name. Because the letter J was not in the alphabet at that time. You ready? You ready? King James wasn't his name. The letter J wasn't in the alphabet at that time. You ready? You ready? Okay. We about to get deep. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me hit y'all with this first. 
Let's see if y'all can make out this book. I'm going to just tell you, for the colony of Virginia, 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 huh, Britannia, look how things were spelled. Keep in mind, this at the bottom, it says 1612. Am I on big screen? Hold on. Just in case. Just in case. Two V's was a W. Two V's was a W. The V was a U. This is the original. Then this came out. Hold up. For the colony of Virginia, Virginia, Britannia, laws, divine, moral, and martial, etc. This came out in 1969. Look how long it's been since they tried to redo this now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did y'all catch that yet? Y'all didn't catch that, did y'all? Uh-uh. Hold up. The Virginia Company of London was a joint stock company chartered by King James I in 1606 to establish a colony in North America. The King James Version of the Bible came out in 1611. For the colony of Virginia, Britannia, laws divine and moral and martial. Wait a minute. Isn't that what the Bible's supposed to be doing? I thought the Bible was supposed to give you the laws and divine order and the morals and the. Wait a minute. So what you doing this for? In 1612. Uh oh. They said that the Bible was supposed to give you the laws and divine rights, divine order, the morals, and it's supposed to tell you about the standards, right? In 1612, the year after the King James Version, this exposing something. So if it's for the colony of Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. If it's for them, then who? The people that are there or the people going there? We're we, we going to get there. Hold up. We're about, we about we walking it down. So now it was done again in 1969. But notice how he changed the two V's to a W, changed the U into a V. More Marshall still got two L's compiled by William Strachey 1969. I'm showing you for this for a reason because I'm sure it ain't gonna be two dollars no more, but <laughs> I'm gonna show you this for a reason because here's another thing I want you to see this paragraph right here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I put it up. Okay, there we go. Right here. This is the preface of that same book. Notice how it says. This was copyrighted in 1969 by the rector and visitors of the U University of Virginia. It was first published in London in 1612. This edition was published in 1969. What I want you to look at closely is right here. Well, he's talking about the book. This volume is a reprinting of the laws that were drawn up for the tiny colony of Virginia between 1609 and 1612. Let me back that up real quick because some of y'all probably didn't hear me. So let me make some noise real quick. Fire, 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 fire. It's go time, Slim. King Kong ain't got shit.
upon me. This volume is a reprinting of the laws that were drawn up for the tiny colony of Virginia between 1609 and 1612. And then let's skip all the way down here to where he says American Historical Association were used in editing of this text of the laws, divine, moral, and martial. I have retained original spelling and punctuation except to transpose I and J and U and V to correspond to the modern usage. Again, I have retained original spelling of punctuation except to transpose I and J and U and V to correspond to modern usage. The letter J was not there in 1612. <laughs> but Dean, so what is it? We getting there. We getting there. What is it? If his name is not King James, damn it. What is his name? The J is not a J. It was the letter T. Hold up. A lot of y'all saying why, but that's the Chinese edition. Keep in mind, we talking about English. Set it on fire. 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 English. Fire. Fire. Use the letter T. <laughs> Use the letter T. When y'all say why, that's Chinese. We going to get into that later, but I want to show you something. Hold up. What does that make it, y'all? Teams. Uh oh. Hold up, Sag Star. Hold up, Star. I see you, Sag Star. I see you, Angela. Go ahead. Talk to them. It's King Teams. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. About to show y'all something. Here's another reason why we know. Don't London got a Thames River? <laughs> Don't they got a Thames River? Uh-uh-uh, not Thomas. Thames River. Yeah, they wouldn't just be naming it teams for no reason. Huh? <laughs> looky, looky. Just, I'm going to scroll down just in case. Yes, sir. Same. So what does that have to do with King James? Well, if it's King Thames, then it's the King Thames version. It's the version to tame the kings. I'm, I'm walking it down. Submitting. Submission. Wait a minute. Are they doing that to do the... Wait a minute, Dane. What... To, take, to make the king submit? Oh, we get deeper. The word king, right? The etymology of the word king. 
the descendant of a divine race. Listen, descendant of a divine race, leader of the people, family race. The word kin is in king. Noble birth. One who descends from noble birth. The descendant of a divine race. This is referring to families. This is referring to us. They're going to hang you to King Thames. Yeah. To tame the kings. Because think about it. Whatever you want to be subject to, you have to tame it. Whatever they want you to be subject to, you have to tame it. There's your curse, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't just Deuteronomy. It was the whole thing. They switched it later on and added the letter J so you can't find it. Because keep in mind that the gentleman that compiled the laws told you that he had to add the letter J in there. Indicating that the letter J was not there at that time of 1612. Was not there at that time of 1612. Y'all know how deep that is? How you going to learn today? King Thames. Again, to go back, he sent missionaries, right? With Bibles in their hand to tame the kings. They didn't come with no sword. Oh, this picture right here, they ain't come with no sword, no guns. They came with Bibles to tame you. This is the reason why they don't teach what happened <coughs> realistically within the Bible. Of course not. Why would they tell you that? This is the reason why the Bible was not a history book. Another reason is because you can't find the Bible in the history book section of where they're selling books, like a bookstore. They're going to say it's inspirational and spiritual section. Listen to how deep that gets. This whole time, we're familiar with other versions of the Bible that came later. Right? I'm going to show y'all another thing. <laughs> Watch this. This is why I can't stand Wikipedia, but I'm going to show y'all something. I want to show y'all this. <clears throat> What's another matter of fact, I'm going to give you, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to give y'all, I'm, I'm ready now. I got everything up. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think of a name that was handed to us that's very similar to Indian, but not quite Indian all the way. Not Niji. We're not talking about Niji. Niji came later. We're talking about something that's older than Niji. That's still relating to Niji and Indian. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds on the... Somebody already said it. I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, 30 seconds. Yeah, DNA, let that shit bang.
Oh boy. All right, so where's my, all right, hold on. All right, so let's type it in. A lot of people were saying this correctly. I-N-J-U-N, right? Oh, let me, let me, so it won't get confused or won't be confused. Let's make that pretty large. Now. They're going to say that this is the original 17th century mispronunciation of Indian. They're going to also say that it's generally considered offensive today. I'm trying to look. Not, let me give y'all a quote real quick. Because I'm, I'm going to post it up. Just so y'all can have it. This is what they're going to say about this word now. Make it larger so y'all can see it. They're going to say engine is originally... The 17th century mispronunciation of Indian. Now, when I told you that they told us everything in reverse. Here's another reason why you know that, because the 17th century is what time period, y'all? Go ahead, say it real quick, real quick. The 17th century is what time period? Say it in the chat. Talk to me. The 1600s. And didn't we just show that the 1600s ain't had a letter J? Hold up. You heard what I said? I can't see my chat. There you go. Everybody in the chat saying 1600s. Didn't I just say the letter J? It's up. Ooh. It's not there. So how can it be the mispronunciation of Indian generally considered offensive when it wasn't spelled this way? How was it spelled, y'all? Now keep in mind, they added J when it was actually spelled differently back then in the 1600s. The 1600s never had a J, never had a T. The correct spelling of this word back then is in gen with the g that was the correct spelling it never had a j you see how they tried to throw the j on it knowing that we was going to be able to trace it back and say wait a minute the j wasn't there and that will make that j to t but it was never spelled with the j it was always spelled with G. What does this mean, though? You can find the word gin in a lot of great things, right? Yeah, and did Genesis, Genesis, there y'all go. What else? What else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Generation genetic. Talk to me. Genius. Talk to me. 
Ingenuity? Let's go. Let's fucking go. And they wanted to hide this from you. For this reason, when I tell you that you are the chosen people, I don't have to prove it by way of the Bible because I could prove it in your name. Generator, genuine, general, Genesis, gentle, We got this. Yeah, it's in your gene. Look how deep that get. Engineer. Engine. That should make you question origin. No, right? As far as the spelling, generosity, you right. Look, there you go, Iron, there you go. Yes, ingenuity, big deal. But y'all, origin, aborigin, aborigin, <laughs> gin. Here you go. Here you go. Generate. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm very. It's I'm thank you. Those of y'all that's checking this live stream late, don't worry. It's going to be up. We're going to keep this in there. But yeah, this is the reason why. They're trying to say that it was a mispronunciation of NDN. <laughs> Used to mock or impersonate Native Americans. You see how they're trying to throw you off? They're trying to throw you off so you won't ever look into it. But it'd be right in front of you the whole time. It was always with a G. It was always with it. Yes. Oxygen. That's right. That's right, Lotus. Oxygen. Who said gin and juice? St okay. 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 Uh, I got you. But don't be. Listen. You telling them yourself. It's too late to be on some gin and juice right now. Huh? But they usually talk. You notice how our people came up with the song, right? But what was they smoking on before they was hitting gin and juice? I mean, sipping on gin and juice. Laid back with their mind on their money and their money on their mind. What was what was they saying before that? All right, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Leave it alone, bro. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right, listen. Look. I think that is so funny. And speaking of Snoop, matter of fact, I, I, I guess I can't play this. Let me see if I got that. I know I got it. I got to find it, though. Let me see. Uh, where is that? Hold on, hold on. I know I got it. Damn, I must have moved it over. <sighs> That's my stuff. All right. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to let it come out some type of way. I'm just double checking to make sure I ain't got it. Yeah, I ain't got it. Yeah. Oh, no. Here it go. I do got it. <laughs> I got it. Here it go. Speaking of that song, just because we we, we spoke of that song, right? The marshmallow. I got I got that Indian blood, so when I drink whiskey, I turn into something different. I got I got that Indian blood, so when I drink whiskey, I turn into something different. 
I got I got that Indian blood, so when I drink whiskey, I turn into something different. All right, all right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Set it on fire. 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 It's up. Alright. Let me let me on that note. I'm gonna I'm leave it on that note, man. Thank you all for checking this out. Uh shout out to those of you uh that did donate. Let me try to bring up my stream labs right now so I could uh why is it blank? Oh my goodness, it's blank, y'all. My stream labs is not oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try to bring it over on this side then. Hold on, let me let me try my What? What happened? Why is everything blank? What is going on here? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It just popped up. All right, so let me back up a tad. Let me give everybody some shout outs here, man. Um, Let me start with Running Deer. It's tough. Running Deer, thank you so much again, sister. I appreciate that. Rod, thank you for becoming a member. And Digitus Bobby been a member for nine Say months no in a row. She said, let's get it. Uh, Eat the Creek, thank you for the gifted membership. I appreciate that. Fishbone has been a member for nine months in a row. Goddess Wild Red been a member for four months in a row. Levante been a member for 20 months in a row. I'm pretty sure it's longer than that, y'all. You know how YouTube be doing us. I understand that. Goddess Wild Red, thank you for the gifted. I appreciate that, sister. Run and dead gifted a membership as well. I appreciate that, sister. Thank you. Uh, Terrence been a member for two months in a row. Let's go. He said feathers it's up. Tough. And Othila and Willie's grandbaby. I appreciate that. Thank you for the gifted. Uh, Lady FG been a member for 13 Say months in a fire. row. Fire. She said, fire. let's go. Let's go, Niji. Indigenous Barbie gifted five memberships. I appreciate Set that, sis. Uh, ooh, Mrs. Shirley Baker been in the building for 40 months in a row. I appreciate that, Mrs. Baker. I can't wait to come out North Carolina and visit the fam. I appreciate that, sis. Always showing love. Todd Johnson gifted five memberships. I appreciate that, brother. Well, I hit the wrong button. Let me hit that button instead. Uh, hello has gifted. Oh, no, no, no. He donated. Oh, man. He was probably talking about what I was talking about at that time, but I appreciate the double up. I'm going to double up right now. I appreciate that. Dwayne, thank you for the super chat. He said, thank you for the work. I appreciate that, Dwayne. And then hello, get oh three times hello. Genealogy must be referred to what I was talking about earlier. I appreciate that, brother. Or sister, depending on, you know, I can't see who it is. Deborah Woods been a member for 26 months Set in a row. Fire, fire, I appreciate fire, that. Fire, fire. Uh oh. Gizmo Duck has been a member for 51 months in a row. He said they watch it. Yeah. They trying to stop my stream, bruh. <laughs> that was funny to me. Uh, and Othila and Willie's grandbaby donated. I appreciate that, y'all. Set it on fire. Thank you. Fire. Fire. I appreciate that. Fire. Fire. Chuck talking about Santa is longer than this. Yeah, I, I, Chuck talk, I know, brother. 27 bucks in a row. I know. Fire. Fire. I don't know why you two acting like that, but we know why you two acting like that. Nafisa Jackson gifted, big huh? gifted. I mean, super chat, super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nafisa. Armani uh, has been a member for 13 months in a row. Fire. It could fire. be longer than that, Armani. Don't, don't knock him. Keep making them think, Dave. This it's up. up. I appreciate that, sister. Captain Kirk been a member for 10 months in a row. Fire, 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 fire. I appreciate hey, what up, Cap? Shay, thank you for becoming a member. 
Yeah, where's the been a member for 28 bucks in a Say row? Fire, 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 Lotus Flower fire, Bomb. Fire. Thank you for the uh, super chat. I appreciate that. And Keisha became a member and donated simultaneously. Let me drop a big bomb. I appreciate that, Keisha. I know earlier I shouted out those of shouted out those of you that called that called that cashed that, but let me double check real quick. Um, a oh, Wanda, the Wanda, she said, and thank you for the donation, sister, too. And this is your second message. You saying you've been a member for nine months. YouTube blocks me giving money to you. See, listen, she been a member for nine months, and YouTube blocks her from gifting or giving money to me. As far as donation is concerned, I that ain't me, sister. But I appreciate that. But you know what's going on. Y'all saw what happened. Everybody saw that live. They saw what happened. Vanessa said, "Thank you, Vanessa, too." Let me, let me. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me drop bombs and drop fire. Thank you for both of the sisters. Much love, brother. Keep doing. Keep going. We love you. Oh, we with you. I appreciate that, sister. Andrew Williams, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. So we probably going to do it again tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go again tomorrow. I got some other things. But yeah, don't forget, man. Don't forget. You are the chosen ones. Don't let them tell you any different. Because they can't prove it otherwise. You understand what I'm saying? It's hot. Y'all take care. What up? I'm just here to make you think. Sword down.